I have a pair of robin ears growing out of my head. It's crazy. I can receive TV signals off my head. It's crazy. <laughs> All right, today I'd like to talk to you about master antenna TV system, TV systems, or also known as MA TV systems. Now, you may live in an apartment building or might have a housing um, group that tells you you can't put up TV antennas and they don't want you to have freedom. Uh, so, uh, first thing you could do is you go to your landlord and, and suggest that they may, might have a, a master antenna system or you may have a master antenna system. Some apartments do have this where they have an antenna on the roof of the building because usually apartment buildings are great, you know, they're nice and high. So if you actually put an aerial up on that and, and distribute it, basically like, you know, get like a splitter, you know, except like on a bigger, on a bigger scale uh, with amplification, you could probably amplify it. This is how cable TV started. They would, uh, cable TV would have uh, like a big tower and they would have different antennas pointed at different air, diff at the different areas and they pulled in like 14 to 20 channels uh, using specialized antennas and amplifiers. So in this day and age, with over-the-air channels and DigiNets and all that, you can probably get, like in some cities, there's 50, there's 50, 60, sometimes even even more over-the-air channels. There's a lot of over-the-air channels. So if you're living in like a big city like Montreal, Toronto, Ottawa, New York, uh, Los Angeles, you know, one of those giant cities, if you look at TV full um, and you go uh, and look at all the stations that you can get in that area, or also type in this, go to um, a website called uh, TV Titan, TitanTV.com. And if you look at uh, all the over the air channels, you just type in the zip code uh, for that area and you look at all the over the air channels, there is a lot. Like, there's like uh, back in the 80s, I used to have cable, my parents had cable, and they got probably 50 channels. But nowadays, with an antenna, with an over the air antenna, you can get almost the same amount if not more and have that mixed in with a free to air satellite setup um like what i uh what uh it's kind of what i set up for my parents where i set up an antenna for them and then i also set up a um a raspberry pi to um, play videos off of a uh, play home videos off of a just in a continuous loop using cody so you know there's things that you can do like that uh, so you can, so you can actually have a master antenna system, and then get a UHF modulator that would have like uh, an input for your video to go in. Or if you want to go digital, you get an ATSC modulator. But ATSC modulators are quite expensive. They they go from uh, probably six hundred dollars. I think the cheapest one they, that I've seen is about three hundred dollars, and it, but it only does seven twenty p, and it does only one channel. But I had this one device, which I did a review on, uh, called uh, with the, uh, the MATV uh, UHF modulator that I reviewed in a previous video. So check that out. That's something you can do where you can have your over-the-air channels and maybe add a, a, a closed circuit channel. For example, apartment buildings have used that where they've had a camera in their lobby. And what they would do is they would use a device like what I've reviewed. And you'd be, you know, you get a video of what's going on in the front lobby on channel 60 or something, something to that extent. So, um, yeah, my suggestion is uh, if an apartment building is willing to give people freedom of choice, uh, because the the cost of a master antenna system probably like for and if you're distributing it to a bunch of people, it would sound pricey. Like maybe like a really good good amplifiers and everything would be like a thousand maybe a couple thousand dollars, depending on how big of a system you want to, you would want to go. But if you have each tenant paying that, like paying, I don't know, $50 a month till it's paid off or something, it would be like, 
you know, compare that to cable where, you, you know, um, one of those a, a master antenna system for an apartment building would pay for itself if people wanted to put money toward it. And then once they paid it off, they'd have uh, a free antenna for the rest of their life. Because that's, because um, a lot of people in apartments will have just a pair of rabbit ears and that will work. But you would, like if you're up high in an apartment building, if you have an antenna right up on the roof and you're not getting, you know, you have a good line of sight of all the TV stations in your area, rooftop is always going to win out. It's uh, like an, any indoor antenna is just not going to perform as well as a rooftop antenna. Just, uh, just the way it works. Like no matter how much the clear TV commercials will make you believe, uh, and I'm not saying they're a bad product, the, uh, but it's just uh, um, you'll always do better with an outdoor antenna. It'll just work better than uh, an indoor antenna. Uh, so um, yeah, that's just my recommendation um, for apartment buildings because apartment buildings could also have free to air satellite. If you've seen apartment buildings in big cities where um, you'll see like um, a lot of people from foreign countries you'll see like a big KU band dish from the balcony. And if an apartment building didn't want the dishes on the balcony, what they could do is um, just have a satellite dish on the roof and distribute the signal down. A lot of apartment buildings are doing that with the subscription um, setups. They're doing that with Bell and Dish Network where they have two dishes set up and then they just run it like cable to your receiver inside your apartment unit. So, with uh, those switches, this is not a switch. This is a, a 22K switch here. But you can actually, um, uh, with a Dissect switch, some of these fancy Dissect switches, you can have like multiple LMBs. So you can have your subscription um, satellites going into one, but then you could actually have a few extra ports for say a dish point at 97 West. So you can get all the free channels that are on 97 West. Another thing is if you're in an apartment building, I, I got this just uh, as a demo. I never really used this. Um, some apartment buildings, uh, like the one I used to have, had an air conditioner coming in the window, like next to the window. So I just drilled a hole and ran the wires through it. But if you're just going to shut it in a door, you get one of these type wires and it'll shut into the door. Um, I, at one time I lived in an apartment building where I just took an old pair of coax, jammed it in the door, and it... The coax, the more I opened and closed the door, the coax didn't like that, but I did jam the coax in there. And I had essentially a pair of rabbit ears on my balcony. That's all I had for a while. But it got, I got better signal with the pair of rabbit ears out in the balcony than I did inside, inside, the, uh, inside the apartment. So there's little tricks you can do that'll get you better signal if you want to get uh, your local channels and you're living in the apartment building and the landlord, they. Sometimes landlords, they won't even hear it. It's like, you know, you, you can put up a master antenna system, uh, an antenna on the roof and distribute to people who don't want to pay for cable or don't want to pay for satellite. They just want to get the local channels and they don't want to pay a monthly fee for it. Or, you know, as I suggested before, you can you can uh, have uh, the tenants pay it off or whatever. Or maybe just the apartment building would want to offer it as a service. Like, hey, you can uh, you can get free, free, uh, free, free over the air TV. Uh, off our uh, off our master antenna, uh, so you'll you'll get 60 channels instead of 20 uh, off of our system. You know, uh, so uh, um, th there is different systems out there. If, if someone lives in an apartment, they have a system like that. Let me know how it works for them in the comments. It'd be kind of interesting to hear um, about this stuff and uh, how that works. Because a lot of people they'll, they'll like they'll like their subscription TV. They'll like to have their uh, guide information and all that stuff. There's, you know, different uh, preferences for that. But I'm just trying to create a little bit of awareness about master antenna systems. So if you wanted to have one either for yourself. I personally, I've set, I've set up a master antenna system at my own home. And I've set it up at my parents' home. Just simply because cable went the route where every TV has to have a cable box. And not everybody is familiar to, on how to use that. Not everyone's technologically inclined to do that. Like we're an antenna, it's simple. You plug it in and you scan in your channels and then you just, you have one remote it, and it, uh, it, it changes the channels. You don't have to like worry about getting it screwed up by hitting the TV's input channel the wrong way. 
So that's, uh, that's one of the nice things about an antenna compared to what, with what cable has, uh, the way cable's gone. Cable's gone like satellite now. You need a, uh, a lot of cable companies now, you need a cable box to be able to get anything now. And uh, some cable systems have clear QAM, um, but um, uh, like the ones uh, that I know of, uh, like in this area, it's all been encrypted, so you have to get a cable box to get anything, even the local channels. And the local channels, which are compressed from their, they would be like 1080p, and they're like really low bit rate, and sometimes they're only standard definition uh, on cable, but then if you watch it with an antenna, you get it in high definition. That's, there's some pluses and minuses to antennas. Antennas, that's the plus, the picture quality. As long as you get a clear signal is usually a lot better. So anyway, this is my uh, little talk on master antenna vi videos. I think I'd like to talk more about that, but uh, if there's anything in the comments, let me know. Uh, maybe I'll have a part two to this video on master antenna systems and satellite solutions.